countdown to campaign 2024 is on. We are now just two weeks away from Election Day when millions of voters will head to the polls. People across the Carolinas are showing up in record breaking numbers to vote before then. More than 125,000 people voted on the first day of early voting in South Carolina yesterday. North Carolina, you'll notice, also set a record for the first day of early voting, despite healing damage with more than 353,000 votes being cast. Well, many say a lot is on the line in this election, including those around the clock campaign commercials, telling you that this is the most important election thus far. It's one of the things driving so many people to the polls for early voting this year in both Carolinas. Well, today one voter showed up to a polling place in University City that got everyone's attention. She is the oldest voter who cast a ballot today. Her name is Kazida Panky, and she says for her voting, that's non-negotiable. WBTV's Dedrick Russell caught up with her to find out why, and it's tonight's cover story. It was a busy day at this early voting site in the university area. While people waited in line, Kazida Panky showed up. We made it. She is voting just days before her special day. Saturday is I'll be 100 years old. As a birthday gift to herself, she early voted. I feel happy. I'm happy. I'm very happy that I was able to vote today. Yeah. And it means a lot to me. Her niece and granddaughter brought their aunt and grandmother to the polls. They say this was a must. She wants to get in, make sure her vote's going to be counted, and nothing can uh, stop her. Miss Panky decided not to curbside vote, but we were there as she walked in, went through the line, got her ballot, and sat down to vote. She chose Kamala Harris to be the next U.S. president. Happy, happy, happy. I'm so happy that we have a black person to uh, help this world become a better place. She says she is thrilled she had the opportunity to vote for two black presidents in her lifetime. I didn't never think we would have a black president. After she cast her ballot, we went back down memory lane. Do you remember the first time you voted? Yes, I do. You do? Oh. In New York City at 112th Street in New York City, in Manhattan. Wow. And that was in 1947. And you've been yeah. voting ever since? Been voting ever since. This season, voter remembers a time when she couldn't vote because of her race and gender. She also remembers the day when she finally could exercise her right to vote. I felt was happy, and all of my friends was happy. We, we had a little party. We had a little party when we found out that everybody could vote. She says she will never forget that history lesson. She's talking about voting. She's talking about the times when we couldn't vote and how we should stand on the shoulders of those that went before us and um, honor them. I asked what would she say to people thinking about skipping this election? I would tell them they need to vote so they could have a better place for their children. I'm elated. I am absolutely just so very proud to uh, be here with her today. She has always been an inspiration to me from a child. I've always looked up to her and enjoyed hearing her stories and her travels, and uh, she makes you want to do and do more. Voting is so important for Panky, she informs her family and friends about it. In fact, she started the conversation early. Since January, tell them that we got to get out and vote. Because if we don't vote, we don't know what's going to happen. While she reminds her relatives to vote, she reminds herself how grateful she is to see a century of life. Well, good Lord has blessed me. It's because I always tried to do the right thing. Take care of my family, my mother and father, whatever I could do for them. Yeah. I, 
I tried my best to do the best I could. Yes. All my life. I'm nine years old. And 91 years later, on this day, she is still doing the best she can by way of voting. In Charlotte, Dedrick Russell, WBTV, on your side tonight. Proudly wearing that sticker. Her family plans to throw Miss Panky a 100th birthday party on Saturday. A reminder, early voting runs from now until Saturday, November 2nd, and you can also do same-day registration when you early vote in person.